Hey guys, uh, welcome to your singles love reading. This is going to be for Pisces for your November 2023. You could apply this to your um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, what your blocks and challenges are in love, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, if there's anyone new coming in for you. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective, um, Pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok <coughs> and also on Instagram, <coughs> The links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. So, single Pisces. What's going on with single Pisces in love? Tell me about single Pisces in love for November 2023. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Pisces. For single Pisces. What's going on with single Pisces in love? Tell me about single Pisces in love. What's going on with single Pisces in love? Okay, so we have the lovers, Gemini energy, and the king of pentacles. We have the world, and the king of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the two of cups here, and the empress. Wow. I feel like someone here is in love, but I also feel like someone here cannot accept the love here. Or accept this relationship. Yeah, it's almost like someone here, someone's body is resisting it for some reason. It might have something to do with like some past stuff, some past issues that you're still going through that you haven't really dealt with here yet. Yeah, I do feel like someone here tends to turn their back on relationships or walk away from them because it's too hard. We have an Empress here, Libra Taurus. We have the Two of Cups, King of Swords, Libra Aquarius, Gemini, the World, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Lovers here. Yeah, I, 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 all these court cards, these people are looking away from each other. They're not, they're not facing each other here. It's not about the Empress here. Why is the Empress here? Look at the Five of Pentacles. Tell me the Two of Cups and the Seven of Wands. You know, one of the things I feel like you're realizing or that you're learning here is that you can't change someone. You know, you can't convince someone to be with you when they're not ready to be with you. And I feel like you're walk lear, like you're learning to walk away from those those situations here. I do feel like you're still dealing with someone here that's kind of like been very in and out of your life here. Yeah, I do feel like this person does find you very attractive here. I do feel like this is an individual that wants to move forward here with you, but I feel like you triggered this person's past, and I feel like this person has a hard time being with you. Now, it could be the other way around. You could switch the roles if you want here in Pisces. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is definitely kind of like gaslighting themselves, playing mind games. Like, they feel like they can't do it. They feel like they can't heal. They feel like they can't let go of the past or move on from the past here. So this is about, you know, let, letting go of self-fulfilling prophecies here because this is hindering someone from their own happiness to, and to be able to enjoy a relationship. You, you know what I mean? So like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. It could be the person that you're dealing with or that this could be you, okay? What else do we have for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on for November 2023? Is there anyone new coming into single Pisces' life? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Pisces here with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like this has been an ongoing thing with somebody here where you're still dealing with this person. I do feel like someone here wants to come in and talk to you. You know, Six of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. Whoever this is, I feel like this person wants to kind of like balance out the scales here, you know, sort of like move towards calmer waters, resolve things. Um, you know, um, I'm not going to lie, I, I, this situation that you're in with this person, that you're still in with this person, I don't feel like it's going to go really well. Yeah, uh, there's a lack of honesty here. Um, there's a lack of honesty here. I feel like someone here has a hard time being honest. 
I do feel like someone here kind of like, you know, pretends like everything is okay when it's really not. It, it, it could be that they're pretending like, yeah, the relationship's going well, you know, you're, they're, they're enjoying their time here. But in actuality, this person is definitely, you know, kind of like in this energy of like resisting this connection here or that they, like I said in the beginning, like I feel like they can't accept it, you know, or that they, they don't feel like they don't deserve it. Um, tell me about the Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Swords here. And the Ten of Wands. Wow. When it comes to commitment, it's too much for this individual here. Um, yeah, whoever I'm reading for here, like I said, you could switch the roles if you want, Pisces. It could, it, it could be that you're feeling this way. Like, a relationship is just too much for you. It's too overwhelming. Tell me the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? So we have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, the Six of Swords. And we have the Six of Wands. Some of you guys are seeing a lot of Sixes here. This is about balance. There's a lack of balance in the connection that you're in here. Something is not being achieved. Something is not being over... Something is not being... Like, it's not being overcome, you, you know? <laughs> so the higher the Taurus energy, the Six of Wands here, the Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, Star, Star card. If you've been in this situation with this person where this person has hurt you here, I do feel like this person's going to hurt you again. Just really be careful with this person because, you know... This person has shown you time and time again, they keep doing the same things over and over again. And, you know, I do believe that, you know, you, you know, people do deserve a second chance, maybe even a third chance. But I feel like the fourth chance, fifth chance, sixth chance, you're kind of like pushing it at that point because you already know what this person's about. And you already know, you, you're, and if you're stepping back into something that you already know, you know, you're kind of like setting yourself up to get hurt. You know what I mean? So I feel like for you, I feel like right now it's, your best interest to walk away from the situation here because you even though that you know that it's painful here and it's time to walk away because you're suffering here at the same time you know so i feel like you're really stepping into this empress energy where you're just not chasing this person around you know trying to convince them you know you don't i mean if this person really truly wants to be with you you don't need to convince them it will just naturally happen you know you know, when you convince them and you try to convince them or they, you try and beg them you kind of stoop to this like low you know and you don't want to be in the slow here uh, you don't want to look needy or that you don't want to look desperate you know and you know <clears throat> sometimes you know being desperate is a very unattractive quality especially when it comes to romantic relationships because you want to be independent you want to be able to stand your own two feet you want to be able to be like you know what you know, this person is great to be with, but I also could be okay without this person too. Yeah, so uh, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the, the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.